I think one of the reasons I'm so passionate about it about giving women all over the world a voice and an opportunity to reach out for help is because I have lived with that fear. The day I sat at a red traffic light, all dressed up on my way to an event on top of the world. I was just crowned with South Africa a couple months ago in my brand new car that was sponsored. It was one of my winning prizes on my way to some fancy event. And I looked to my left and I looked to my right and I saw I'm surrounded by five armed men. I didn't know how that could end up in that moment. But I knew that I had to get away. I knew that my materialistic things were just not worth my life. I didn't know exactly what they wanted from me, but I knew it wasn't good. I put up my hands, I surrendered, I gave them everything they needed. But the moment I tried running away, the guy on my side of the car grabbed me and he pulled me and he pushed me back into the car yelling at me, get in, you're going with us. And at that moment, I said, no, I'm not. I'm not going with you. I don't care if you shoot me, if you kill me, but I'm not going with you. And I did the best I could. I punched that guy as hard as I possibly could in his throat and it gave me a split second, a window of opportunity to run away, and I did. In my six inch heels, I ran up a big avenue. Let me add in, it was peak hour traffic, broad daylight, half past five in the afternoon. I ran into, the, into traffic and tried getting away, looking over my shoulder, not knowing if I'm being shot in the back. And you know what? That's not the worst part of the story. As I ran up that avenue, I knocked on about 30, 40 car windows. And do you know how many cars stopped for me? Not one. Not one person stopped to help. And I don't know what was more terrifying, being attacked by these five armed men or not getting any help. I kept running, I kept knocking on car windows. I probably ended up at the next traffic light when I saw a small old little car pull over to the side of the road with a young girl telling me, get in, get in. And just before I opened the door, she looked at me and said, you don't have a gun, right? And I said, no, I was just carjacked, hijacked. And she led me into her car and she took me to safety. You know, if it wasn't for that young girl who was 19 years old at the time, I don't know what would have happened. I don't know if those men would have followed me, grabbed me, who knows. But I try not to think about that. I'm so grateful for that young, courageous woman who risked her own safety to be a helping hand to me. And I will forever be grateful to her. So, you know what, don't be that person that shoves someone away, that rolls up your car window when someone is begging you for help. Be that person that leans over and opens up your car door and lets that person in and lead them to safety.